What's the worst date you've ever been on? And this guy had been trying to talk to me for a while. Mind you, he was like 30, like 29 or 30. He's like, oh, well, I really want to take you to this haunted corn maze. So we get into the corn maze and he's like, you know what would be so funny right now? I'm like, what? He's like, if I just left you. I'm like, huh? This man took off in a full sprint. <laughs> My... <laughs> <laughs> so I'm running behind him. I lose him. <laughs> and then he pops out out of nowhere. He's like, oh, I got you. Like, it's like cracking. <laughs> so why the fuck? We're walking again probably another six or seven minutes. He breaks off into a full sprint again. I'm not chasing after him this time. I just start crying. One of the crew members, he comes out and he's like, he rubs my back, whatever. He's like, well, I'm gonna just walk you to the end of the maze. <laughs> Cause he's he seen him <laughs> And had to be bored. So he's like, you know what? I'm gonna take you to this haunted maze and I'm gonna screw with you. He just wanted to screw around and mess around with this girl. And just, I don't know what he was doing. He was putting her through some type of emotional roller coaster of fear, horniness, loneliness, and I guess just showing his speed. But <laughs> that is a funny story, man. Hopefully, he got the box by the end of the night. But <laughs> she's having a good time, I guess, you know, talking about it. She's laughing about it. She doesn't seem upset. So maybe he did. But God, that's a weird way to go on a date. What happened is I got a teenage son and they can obsessed with me. They can sing my songs in his school. They talk about like how hot of a mom I am. Oh my and my God. son's friends started finding my OnlyFans. So now it's hard for me to promote. And because now my son's going to school, like getting teased and shit like that. You know what I mean? So it's hard having a teenage son and being a hot mom. First of all, that hot mom stuff is ridiculous. That stuff should have gone out being hot long time ago when you had a child. See, that's the thing. Women like this, they don't marry, but they carry. They carry before they marry. And what was she wiping out the corner of her mouth? Like, did she just get done doing an OF scene or something? Like, of course this is gonna happen. This was said on so many podcasts that, you know, oh, well, what about if your kids get older and they, their friends find out you have an OnlyFans? This is exactly what is going to happen every single time and you can't duck it, you can't escape it. There's so many cases of this happening with OF models or people who are uh, you know, having children while they're in this weird and crazy profession. But she has her priorities all the way twisted. She has too many tattoos, she's belligerent, she's cursing. I, I would be ashamed for this woman to be my mom. I'm just saying like, this was bound to happen. This just goes to show you society has gone completely down the tube and this is just like ridiculous she's so she's so worried about being called a hot mom she just had to throw that in at the end it, it, it's just sickening man ridiculous uh, just let's go to the next clip women are jealous of men and women are jealous of the simplicity of a man women will openly acknowledge that when they met their significant other he lived with an xbox a tv and a sofa and he was happy and content but they fail to realize how much they upgraded the lives of their wives by the bigger car, the bigger house. And it's almost like these women have a sense of entitlement because if it were up to the men, they'd keep that same sofa, that same TV and keep a simple life, which is why it's fucked up. So women can openly acknowledge that it came from nothing, but they very rarely appreciate everything that they have. These women will actually get frustrated at how simple their husbands are because they just don't understand it. Men can rotate the same three t-shirts for three months in a row and not give a shit. They can wear the same pair of jeans every other day and not give a shit. Men have lifelong friendships without any drama because they don't give a shit. Women on the other hand are constantly comparing themselves to other women and they oftentimes put their happiness in the hands of their husbands or their spouses. And when their husbands fall short, now he's a piece of it. But the reality is, is that comparison is the thief of joy. And because these women are so unfulfilled and they're looking to their husbands to fulfill every single need, they can't understand why the men in their lives don't need more. And you just can't convince me that women aren't jealous of the fact that men are happy with the bare minimum because women are constantly chasing this idea of happiness based on other people and men just don't do that. Okay, bye. This is all facts I used to always say. It. A man can sleep in a room with, you know, a blow up bed, uh, covers, one sheet, one pillow, one Xbox, one TV, one microphone, and a camera to do his vlogs, and he'd be fine with that. But that's the thing men typically upgrade their lives because women come in 
and they want to have all these things. They want to have this dream of, oh, let's get a big house. Let's get a this and that. When a man could be okay living in a one bedroom apartment and he'll be fine. But women like to come in and complicate this thing. So that's why men are doing a thing called getting a passport and going overseas and downsizing their life when it comes to finances, when it comes to where they live. And the thing is, they could probably get more and probably satisfy the woman for way less. Or the woman will be like, well, the one bedroom or the two bedroom, fine. I'm okay with it. So whoever's marrying these women or whoever he's getting in relationship with these women still, it's absolutely nuts if you ask me. Because these women are absolutely out of their minds because their standards are way up in the sky. I always say this, and it's so true. And it's way up to the ceiling. And men are just not dealing with that because they have options and they figured out their value. And we all know that that is a woman's biggest fear is a man finding out his value and then them not being able to extract from said man. It's crazy. Look, make sure to observe your man around other men. And let me tell you why I say that. So you know how they have this whole alpha beta thing going on. And it's a thing and it's true. But see, we as women, we can't determine the alpha. We can't be around our man and say, oh, I got an alpha, da, 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 da. It don't work like that. See, the whole alpha thing and the study of all that comes from people observing animals, gorillas, monkeys in their habitat. They don't put a monkey, uh, 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 the male monkey, in a cage with women and then deem him the alpha. No, 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 that's not how it works. They put him in the cage with other males other male primates and study him and deem him the alpha. That's why you gotta watch your nigga and see how he moves around other niggas. The Super Bowl is coming up. You might go to the Super Bowl party with your man. Watch how his homies talk to him. Whole time you think you got an alpha, you really got the bitch of the group. The one they talk to crazy. And you like, something's not right here, babe. They, talk, they talking to you kind of crazy. Like, is your, is your man to the group? Watch them, study them around other men. Trust me. First of all, ma'am, you don't know what the hell alpha and a beta is. You watch some Nat Geographic, you know, thing about the apes and the chimps and hierarchy. Yes, men have hierarchies, but I think she's attributing how females and female nature is in their friend groups and conflicting it with her little bit of female lens knowledge that she has, which is a small bit and knows nothing about male nature. And attributed it to men so maybe girls go into a group and girls say uh if she if that one girl's getting roasted about everything she's the bad leg she's the dead you know the dead apple or whatever the hell you want to call it. she's the bad apple of the group but men if somebody's talking crazy she's like oh if the super bowl comes up and you see that your man is getting talked about and picked on by the other guys best believe if they're all friends if you start talking about one guy, he's going to fire back at you because we know certain information about these guys. These are our friends. So we know what's going on in our friend group. So we're going to fire back. Everybody's going to get clowned. That's the aspect she doesn't understand because she's using her nature and conflating it with her female lens onto male nature. So women like this, they can't attract nor attain alpha male. So they really don't know anything. I also left a comment on this video which is absolutely ridiculous because i was like what the hell she knows nothing she can't even get an alpha and i put this you're simply dating at your level most women don't even deserve an alpha or even know exactly what an alpha is to even attract them that's what i put here and she is a prime example of that she used apes as an example of hierarchy and uh dudes getting clowned but in a social setting men are going to clown back especially if they're friends especially if these guys have known each other for years everybody knows everything about each other in that circle and just like how females do their business and how they run things it's not the same how men are men are more lighthearted. men are more hey you talk crazy but i'm gonna talk crazy back to you but women you guys like to gang up and go at that one girl and try to you know single her out men they could try to put us in a corner when it comes to social situations and joking and bagging but we're going to fire back. That's just how guys are. And it's going to end at that. It's not going to be anything personal. It's not going to be any of that. But she's taking it like it's personal. It's not personal. And it cannot uh, give you the definition of what an alpha male is because she has no idea. God, man, these women sit up here. They say, hmm, I got a thought. I'm going to make a video. Just stop. Stop making videos. Go brush that hair hat you got.
I feel like God uses me to punish women who aren't living according to their purpose. And he uses them to bless me. I don't know why God works the way he does. I was cheating to protect her feelings. I'm doing it for her. Cheating saved my relationship for years. I would have left that bitch after a month if it had not been for cheating. Cheating really came in and saved the day. Because when I was cheating, I was happier. My girl was happier. I'm meeting new women. I'm networking. And as I'm more fulfilled of a person, that allows me to be a better partner. I get to come home happy and refreshed you work your, your day job Monday through Friday and then your side chick is the weekend that's how you get refreshed for your relationship what if you had to work seven days straight with no break that's what a relationship is you can't do everything with every woman I'm with the big girl it's like we can't go to Universal Studios and get on the rides but I'm with um a smaller chick maybe her credit's not right maybe we can't live indoors together I take best of both worlds I'm gonna go to Universal Studios and ride the rides with the pretty <laughs> Hey, yo, you might think this guy sounds crazy, some of you, but I get what he's saying. He's saying, in a nutshell, is being in a relationship with one woman, he's still going to have his nature as a man, so he's still probably going to want to exercise his options on the side if he has the option to do so, and it's going to keep him more happy and fulfilled in a relationship, and the thing is, if women didn't get upset didn't get mad about cheating and understood how men were and you know they want to get some strange and go here and go there and give that one woman a break then men could stay fulfilled like him but he's figured out a loophole he's like hey i'm being honest with you i do this i do that you know what i'm saying uh i see you for a weekend and on the weekends i go hang with other women i get my energy elsewhere because i'm burnt out from this portion of it I don't want to eat the same steak over and over and over and i got this fine little skinny sexy pretty latina right here i can go to universal with you know what i'm saying the pretty girl we can get on the rides you a little bit on the heavier side so the ride gonna be leaning so that puts me at risk on the ride i don't want to fall out i don't want you know the harness to unsnap you know what i'm saying so he's thinking he's like how can i get fulfilled as a man stay in this relationship and not just be com completely confined so him cheating on the side i guess you can call it cheating or whatever because i just call it exercising options because men are always going to want side girls anyway but most can't do it because they can't get any or the woman's going to go nuts and they're like this is my only sexual access this is all i have i barely can hold on to this chick i can barely hold on to this box so i'm i'm just going to do it in silence and most men do it in silence but he's being completely open about it so i absolutely understand what this man is saying this man is saying I can only give you enough energy. I can't give you seven days a week because it's just going to mentally drive me crazy. I'm going to want to deal with my options. So I will tell you up front and I will deal with you. And cheating for me has helped me in my life. It's keeping me more fulfilled. I'm not crazy. I'm not, you know, crashing out, jumping out the window over one girl because I'm itching to go and give my energy elsewhere because she keeps pulling me, pulling me, pulling me, making me sick of her. But that's the thing. A lot of men get ignored in these situations. A lot of men get ignored in this type of uh, relationship, being monogamous and doing things that are unnatural to him. He never gets what he wants. The woman gets what she wants. A, a man locked down. She's seeing eye to eye with him. But men are different. Most men are. I'm telling you, if you hook men up to a lie detector test, I'm telling you, bro, 90 percent of those dudes are going to want to have girls on the side so they can relax, you know, take a break from the relationship because it could be stressful just dealing with that one person who just wants to hoard you all the time. You get what I'm saying? Are there some guys out there, maybe 10%, 15%, that just want to be hoarded and just stay and focus on that one girl and deal and dedicate themselves to them? Yes, but most guys, they don't want to do it. They do it out of force and they do it because it's not a necessity to them. That's the thing. Men, men have to just do it. They're like, you know what? This is what I have to do. But me, honestly, I'm going to be straight up. I'm like, look, <laughs> I like you. I love you. Whatever the hell it is. You're my man, girl. But I'm going to have Keisha and, well, let's not say Keisha. I'm going to have Maria and I'm going to have Susie Lee on the side. And I'm going to have Becky. That's just what it is because I, I know I can deal with four chicks. One white, one black, one Asian, one Hispanic. I know I can do that. I know that's, that's what I want. But he broke it down perfectly. If you agree or don't agree, that's crazy. But that stuff about him saying, oh, God punishing, I don't know about that. <laughs> that's crazy. Can you tell me something in Spanish? Yeah. Adios. <laughs> hey! Hey! 
Uh, no, that's far from the truth. And whoever made that audio is a complete moron because they don't know what's going on. See, this is what happens when Western women that have other people's hair on their head that cannot respect themselves or understand that they're living in cognitive dissonance and they're just living in delusional land somewhere deep down in their brain because the weave is on too tight and the glue is just pulling at their scalp. That that's not happening. Women overseas in Colombia specifically are wanting to deal with passport bros they want to deal with men and if you ask them hey what do you prefer on these interviews what do you prefer foreign men or men in your own country i'm telling you 85 percent of those women foreign men foreign men gringos american americano they want men from other countries because they like the swag they like to the think they like the you know the resources the the money they like the difference. That's just how women are. Women are hypergamous. They move up. But women like this, they can't move. They got to still keep screwing Pookie and Ray Ray to get their bills paid. And they haven't even fixed their smoke alarm that goes beep every five seconds. They make stupid videos like this because nobody's picking them. She has on a pound of makeup, guys. That nose is so contoured. She's got on the cumbrellas and she has drawn on eyebrows. Who in their right mind that doesn't understand their own self-worth as a man, that doesn't understand that they have value and that can move and cruise across 185 other countries would deal with this woman. Nobody. So they have to use the same thing that they always use. Shame, insults, guilt, and the need to be right. Sign language. Rest in peace, Kevin Samuels. He said it best. His words are still true to this day. So this is why guys are getting passports because these women are mad. So that's why I say keep getting your passport. Keep making them mad. Make them go, yes! Ah! Sit back with that fake hair that doesn't grow out of their own scalp because blonde, like I thought, you know, this is why they're upset because there are some blonde women that died that have actual real hair that are in Colombia that may have dyed their hair uh, this color. And then she probably despises women who have actual natural blonde hair. And she, what does she do? She contradicts herself. She tries to compete. She tries to fake like, oh, well, I don't like those type of women. But has the hair on their head, has the type of greater hair on their head that doesn't belong to her. If you pull that scalp back, I'm telling you, you just go... And you see all the white stuff, all that glue, you pull it back, it's a bunch of really small micro braids going all the way back that stop about right here. They don't stop down here, they stop about right here because women from other countries, if you braid their natural hair, that mess go all the way down to their backside. But then you have her who has to put on somebody else's hair with braids that stop right here, there's like a little braid back there. That's why when you deal with these type of women, if you ever do, if you ever have to, and if you ask if that's their real hair, even if they say no or yes, just feel, say, hey, I want to feel back there. Hey, is there ain't going to be a braid back there, is it? <laughs> Always ask for the braid. Guys, get your passport, man. That's the end of the video. Make sure you guys like the video. Sub to the channel. We'll post notifications on. I'm going to get back up to roasting these crazy people. Man, I'm going to see you guys all in the next video. Comment for the algorithm because we're back monetized. Passport bros up. Bounty villains up. All these weirdos down. You already know what it is, man. I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.